Okay, in this second part, I'm going to explain to you the second page. In problem number six, what we have in problem number six, it's a circle uh, in which they're giving you the chord, the chord FG is congruent to HJ, which means that the arch FG and the arch HJ, they're going to be congruent. So if they're congruent, then X is just the same thing. That's the central angle. That is the same thing as the arc. So those two arches would be the same measurement. Therefore, x is the same thing, which is 70 degrees. And that's it. Question number seven. In question seven, what we have is that the arc AB is 85, and also the arc BC is 85. Therefore, the two chords are going to be congruent. So just let them equal to each other. 4x plus 3 equals 5x minus 1. You subtract 4x from both sides. And you have 3 equals x minus 1. Add 1. And x is equals 4. And that's what they want, the value of x. Okay, in question number 8, we have a chord that is perpendicular, and the chord is chord CD, is perpendicular to the radius AB. So since it's perpendicular, the theorem says that then the chord would be bisected, which means that those two pieces, CE and DE, are going to be congruent. So what they're saying in the problem is that CD is 22. So cut it in half, each one of those pieces is going to be 11. So this piece is going to be 11. Now they're saying that the radius is 14. So AD is 14. AC is 14. And now what I'm missing, it's the segment from A to E. So let me just make that triangle bigger so that we can understand what's going on. So, let me draw the triangle. Okay, so the radius, it's 14. And this is AD. And then from point E to point D, it's half of the 22, so that's 11. So what we're missing is AE. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem, which is x squared plus 11 squared equals to 14 square. 11 square is 121. 14 square is 196. We subtract 121. And it's going to be x square equals to 75. But then to get, to get rid of the uh, square, you get the square root of both sides. And when you put that in the calculator, that's going to give you an approximate answer uh, of, let's see, hold on, of 8.67. It's 0.66 and then uh, 0. Oh, so it's 0.66 because the next number after the 6 is a 0, so that stays as a 6. So it's 8.66. Okay, so that piece is 8.66. Now, AB, which was the radius, was 14. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the 8.66 from the 14. Because if the circle is like this and the radius is AB, and that's 14, and AE, which is all the way to this point, a E is 8.66 so I just need to subtract 14 minus A E which is 8.66 and you subtract that and that gives you 5.34 so that is um, the piece from E to B is 8 point I mean 5.34 and then CE, CE is just 11 because it's half of 22. Okay, in question number 9, they want the area of the sector. So for the area of the sector, the formula is pi 
radius squared, which is a formula for the circle, and then you just want a portion of that, which is the, times the measurement of the angle over 360. So by substituting all the information, we're going to have pi. The radius is 5 inches, and then you square that. And the measurement of the angle is 46 out of 360. And I just put all of that in the calculator. And the answer is going to be 9.82 square inches, and that's number 9. Remember that we need to run it out to the hundreds, okay? Sophomores, uh, well, the sophomore level courses, uh, we're going to run it up to the hundreds place, okay? That's, that's something that I mentioned to you. So make sure you do that, hundreds. Okay, now problem number 10. In number 10, it says find the area of this sector. Well, this is a special one because, see, the whole circle, it's 360, the whole circle. But they, they don't want the whole circle. They just want that shaded region. So out of 181 degrees, well, the first thing you need to do is subtract 360, subtract 81 degrees, and that gives you... 279 degrees. So all we have to do is just put it into the formula. So the formula is pi, the radius is 10.8 inches, you square that amount, and we want 279 degrees out of 360 degrees. Then just put all of that in the calculator and you will get 366.44 square inches. Okay, question number 11 is a little bit uh, challenging, I'll say, because now in this problem, they don't want us to find the length of the arc. The length of the arc is given. That is 7.94. What they want is a radius, okay? So then, in this case, let me explain to you this problem. All you have to do is use the same formula we're using for the length of an arc. All we have to do, once you use that formula, is uh, solve for radius. So you're going to work out the problem backwards. So, um, the formula for the length of an arc is L equals... 2 pi r, so it's a conference, times the measurement of the angle out of 360. So since they're giving me the length of the arc, and that is 7.94, I don't have the radius, so it's 2 pi r stays the same. They are giving me the angle. The angle is 70 out of 360. So when you multiply 2 times pi times 70, well that is 140 uh, pi. So I'm going to just rewrite it. 7.94 equals 140 pi radius over 360. So all I need to do is make this a proportion. So 7.94 times 360, because you cross multiply like this. And then 1 times the numerator, well that is just a numerator, which is equals 140 pi. Let me move this page. Okay, 140 pi r, um, and now all I have to do, since I'm looking for the radius, is divide by 140 pi, divide by 140 pi, 
and that with the radius, it's by itself. So when you multiply 7.84 times 360 divided by 140 pi, which I recommend that you put that in parentheses, okay? Then you simplify, and the radius is going to be 6.50 when you run it to the hundredth place, um, and that would be inches. So the radius is 6.50, and then they're saying, and what about the circumference? Okay, so then the radius would be that. Now for the circumference, well, the formula for the circumference is 2 pi r, and the radius is 6.50 inches. You just multiply all of that, and that is approximately 40.84 inches, and that's a circumference. Okay, so now number 12, they're actually looking, asking you to get the length of the arc. So using the formula, length of the arc, 2 pi r, the measurement, times the measurement of the angle, over 360, we have the measurement of the angle is 115, the radius is 10, so just plug in everything into the formula. 2 pi, the radius is 10 feet, and the measurement of the angle is 115 out of 360. Then just put all of that into the calculator. Now, if you want the exact answer, because this one it doesn't specify, you know how they want the answer. So the exact, you just multiply 2 times 10, because 2 times 10 is 20, and then times 115, divided by 360, and the exact, so you don't put the pi in the calculator, is 6.39 pi, and this is feet. But now, if they want the approximate answer, then you put the pi, and that gives you 20.07 feet. Okay, so that's number 12.